Morse and Touch for the iPad is a circuit design and simulation tool for students, educators and engineers. In this second of three videos, we're going to create a circuit from scratch using the intuitive schematic capture interface. From the circuit's view, we can easily create a new schematic by pressing the new circuit button on the toolbar. This gives us an empty schematic from which we can create our design. To add a component, we tap the component button on the toolbar, and this gives us access to all the components within Multisim Touch. We can scroll up and down this list by dragging our finger. We want a voltage source, so we'll tap signal voltage source, and then we can drag out an AC voltage source onto our schematic area. We also want to have a switch, so we can go back to our components, CX switch, and drag out the switch we require. A switch is an interactive component, so we get an extra button to toggle it on and off during simulation. When a component is selected, we have the option to delete a component by pressing the delete button. The circuit we are going to create in this demo is a full bridge rectifier. So to achieve that, we need a diode. So let's drag out a diode onto our schematic area. From here, it is easy to duplicate a component by dragging the duplicate button. We need four diodes, so we're going to do this three times. From this point, we can start wiring together our components. To do that, we select the component we want to wire from, tap the terminal, and then tap the terminal we want to wire to. This process of tapping terminals together to create wires is how we create all wires in Multisim Touch. You can see we're going to do this for, to connect together all of our diodes. We also need a capacitor to add a smoothing effect to our rectifier. We can easily rotate a component by tapping the rotate button and then we can go ahead and wire that into our diodes. Now we're going to form the output of our rectifier. We're going to add a resistor to create a potential divider. So we can drag a resistor from our component menu onto our schematic. Once we have placed a component, we can tap and drag that component to rearrange it. We're also going to add a light source to our output, so we can see the effect of our rectifier on an interactive component. Once placed, we can rotate the component and wire it into our output. Now we have added the components, we just need to wire them together to finish our circuit. If we want to start a wire from an existing wire, we can tap that wire and then press the Add Connection button. Now we need to add the values to our components. And we're going to start with the AC voltage source. By selecting the source, pressing the Properties button to open the Properties window. From here we can set the properties of that voltage source. In this case we're setting the peak voltage to 240 volts. If we accidentally start creating a wire, we can cancel that operation by pressing the Cancel Wire button. We can also set the value of components direct from the schematic by tapping the component value. Here we're setting the value of the resistor and the capacitor. Mortis and Touch has built-in undo and redo buttons. If we wish to undo an action, we can tap the undo button on the left of the screen. And then if we want to redo that action, we can tap the redo button on the right. In Mortis and Touch, we can also add custom names to our wires. To do that, we tap the pre-configured wire name, which opens the keypad where we can enter our own custom name. Here I'm creating V in and V out. All that's remaining to do on this circuit is to add our ground from the component menu. In the next Multisim Getting Started video, we'll see how we can run a simulation on this circuit to determine the response. For more information on Multisim Touch, visit ni.com forward slash Multisim forward slash mobile.